Hey everyone, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. Today, we are going to build a simple 3D maze game in Unity. By the end of this video, you will have a functional maze game where the player can navigate through the maze. Let's get started. First, we will need to create a new Unity project. Open Unity Hub, click New Project, select 3D template, and give your project a name. Then click Create. Wait for the editor to load your new project. The first thing we will do is search for some maze layout online to use in our project. We also need some textures for our walls and ground. You can find this texture in the description as well or you can find your own assets on the internet. For walls and ground, I have used a texture from Polyheaven but you can use any high quality texture image found online. After the textures and maze layout has been downloaded, open Unity and go to project window, select assets, right click on the right hand panel of assets folder, select create, folder, when the folder is created give it the name textures, double click on the texture folder to open it. So we will import the textures you have downloaded into our Unity project by dragging it from the save location to the assets window. Now let's create a simple ground or floor to work on. Go to hierarchy window, click the plus menu, select 3D object, then cube. A cube should appear in your scene. Go to the inspector window, scale the cube so that it looks more like a floor. I use the following settings. X100, Y1, Z100. Next we will build the wall for our maze. To do this, first go to the assets folder in the project window, then textures. Then drag and drop the maze layout texture into your scene. We will use this maze layout to build a wall for our maze. To start creating the walls, go to the hierarchy, click on the plus icon, 3D object, cube. A cube will be added to your scene. Now to build a wall from this cube. We need to change the scaling of the cube so that it matches our layout. You can do this by going to the inspector window and scaling the cube according to your requirement. You can change the scale X for the length, Y for the height, and Z for the breadth. Now after you have created a wall, we will need to add the texture to it. To do this, go to the project window, open assets folder, then texture, then find the wall texture and drag and drop to the wall in the scene view. To make the texture fit perfectly, go to the inspector window, expand the shader option, then increase the tiling according to your requirement. Now let's complete the whole maze by following the same process or just duplicating the wall we have built previously.
Now let's add a grass texture to the ground of our maze. Simply go to the project window, access folder, then texture, drag and drop the grass texture to the ground of the maze. You can also adjust the tiling of the ground by clicking on the ground, navigating to the inspector window and expanding the shader option and increasing the tiling size. Now let's add a first person character and camera to our scene. First let's import the assets from the package manager window. Go to windows, package manager, select my assets from the drop down menu. Make sure that the first person is added to your Unity account from the Unity Assets Store. In Package Manager window, select the first person character controller, then click Import. Simply click Install and Upgrade. After the assets has been imported, close the package manager window. Now to add the force person camera, go to the starter folder, select first person controller, then prefabs. Now drag the main camera, player capsule, player follow camera to the hierarchy window. Select player follow camera and add player camera route to the following settings in the inspector window. Select the player capsule in the hierarchy, go to the inspector window and set the position of a player capsule to the starting position in your maze. Make sure to delete the main camera from the hierarchy window. Press play and use the arrow keys or WASD to navigate through the maze. And that's it. You have built a simple 3D maze game in Unity, complete with player movements and a goal to reach. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Unity content. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.